just as I was enjoying the weather this afternoon, I was like, oh boy, we can't stand many of these days. We need some more rain. Yeah, the uh, nice little uh, series of storms we had, though, sure did uh, hit the spot, didn't it? It greened everything up around. It really did. I saw uh, several people mowing lawns today. Yeah, thought, that's wow, a good sign. That is a pretty good <laughs> sign. I uh, didn't see much of that summer and may not in the uh, near term as we're expecting to enter a dry pattern once again. Let's begin with a look outside. We'll talk more about uh, that changing pattern in a moment. Uh, our Paramount Theater cam trained right there on downtown Austin intersection of uh, 6th Street off in the distance and that's 7th. They're a little closer to you. And it's a pretty chilly night if you're going to be in uh, downtown Austin. 46 degrees is the current temperature. We're headed to 37 by sunrise in the morning. By noon up to about 59 and then at uh, 5 p.m. Around 66, it's going to turn out to be a beautiful afternoon. Now, 37, that's in downtown Austin. We'll likely see freezing temperatures again in those colder rural locations and especially out in the suburbs. Quick look at some temperatures around the area. There you have the Hill Country readings. Uh, 36 degrees in uh, Fredericksburg. Uh, out in the Atlanta area, 39. 41 in Marble Falls, or 38 in Marble Falls. 41 up in Burnett. Uh, Metro. Still 50 out around Lake Travis, but uh, mid-40s most locations. Georgetown, kind of chilly already at 37. You folks will see a little freeze tonight. Uh, Giddings, you probably will too. You're already down to 39, 44 in Bastrop. Austin's 46. The airport's already down to 39. Skies are clear. Uh, winds are calm. Pressure is high. On a night like tonight in late December, uh, it's almost guaranteed to be cold. Mold count today, 344. There was no cedar pollen in the pollen count, but look for that to start showing up on a regular basis uh, about this time in December. Around the state, 35 in Amarillo is the cold spot. Uh, looks like 53 down in Laredo on the other end of the temperature range. Skies are mostly clear. A little bit of high cloudiness coming at us from uh, far west Texas. Uh, last storm system that brought us rain moving into the northeast tonight. Really messy up there. Wet on the coast, but the inland they're seeing some snow. Uh, the pattern's changing. Uh, the jet stream is shifting to the north. That split flow pattern we had with a southern branch of the jet stream that was so active over the last six weeks. Looks like that is going to disappear and the northern storm track will be the uh, prevalent one over the uh, foreseeable future. Looking at at least two weeks, we don't see any significant change in that. So that should mean a return to drier than normal weather, almost rain free through the 10th of January, maybe beyond and warmer than normal weather into that second week of January too. That's certainly the case in the seven day forecast. Let me show you that. First of all, a quick look at what happens over the next couple of days. We'll continue to have cold mornings tomorrow morning and Thursday morning. But then after that, milder mornings into New Year's Eve, beautiful afternoons all the way through Saturday. We think the cold front will come in on New Year's Day. So we may get in all those festivities New Year's Eve night with uh, unseasonably mild weather. Tonight, cold though, uh, low and mid 30s. Tomorrow, high temperatures, middle 60s. Beautiful afternoon. Austin clear, 37 in the morning. Let's go 66 tomorrow with mostly clear sunny skies and a south wind. As we head into the last weekend of 2011, temperature heads up 72 by Friday. We may hit 74 or 75 on the last day of the year. That cold front comes in on Sunday with a slight chance of rain, and then it looks like it'll be quite a bit colder early next week. Now, in the morning, get the latest on the weather, of course, every 10 minutes on KXAN News, over on KXAN, beginning at 4.30.